Yo, 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 what's going on, guys? It's Douglas James. Hey, I'm just going live. I'm going to give it a second to let some people jump on, but I want to do some live Q&A from some of the questions that you guys posted uh, in the group earlier this week. All right, so I'm just going to give it a minute, let, let a couple people jump on. I'm just kind of like jamming out and getting some stuff done before the weekend. All right, guys, so I want to jump on here. Um, I know it's Friday. It's about to be the weekend. It's, um, but I hope you guys are having an awesome Friday. I hope you had an awesome week. Um, I hope that you got to accomplish some stuff in your biz, no matter what you got going on, um, and staying positive, and then just keep looking up. You know, no matter where you're at in your business, no matter where you're at in your life, you know, um, as long as you're moving forward in the positive direction, you guys will get there no matter what, all right? So... Um, hey, what's going on? It's Douglas James. <laughs> All right. So um, I posted this in the group earlier this week. Um, and I just wanted to kind of see where you guys are at in your business. You know, uh, what's some of the major concerns that you're having, you know, in life and business, whatever it is, you know, so I posted, you know, tell me anything about getting, are you having problems getting customers? Are you having, are, are you, do, do you do SEO and you have problems getting SEO clients? <laughs> Um, you're trying to do e-commerce. Do you have an e-commerce store? Did you have a new brand or t-shirt brand or anything like that you guys are trying to put out? You know, are you, do you work a nine to five job? I know firsthand what that's like. Um, and you want to, do you hate that your job? Do you want to get out of your job and start doing Facebook ads and pretty much anything about Facebook ads in general, you know? So, um, if you guys are new to Facebook ad secrets, again, my name is Douglas James. This is Facebook ad secrets, my free private mastermind for entrepreneurs and marketers to get, um, you know, answers to some of the hard questions that they have in their business, whether they're trying to figure out, you know, how to push their brand, how to get people to like their brand, how to get people, people to buy their product or service, you know, no matter, no matter what you're doing. You know, it's also an opportunity to help people trying to get out of that job force, right, and to do, to become an entrepreneur and, you know, do Facebook ads from home. Well, then, instead of having to run and answer to a boss, you know, nine hours a day, I know exactly what that's like. You know, so I just wanted to get some feedback for you guys. I love going live um, and trying to give some feedback, you know, to any of your questions. But um, I wanted to use this opportunity. Hey, what's going on, Beverly? What's going on, Jamal? Welcome, welcome. Um, so I just want to jump right into some of the questions and then just talk about some training. I'm, I'm going to give you guys some training today on uh, targeting. I think it's uh, pretty important because I've seen it time and time again. You know, people are having issues with targeting. Um, and they don't understand the correlation between targeting and actually talking to the audience, right? You know, I think a lot of us are getting too caught up in trying to target the right people, but not even putting the right message out there in the first place. Um, so that's something that I want to talk about today that I think is pretty relevant that's going to help your business and um, help you get to where you're trying to go with your Facebook ads. Or if you're new, whatever the case is, even advanced users, I'm sure you can find some kind of value in the uh, free training I'm going to do for you guys today. So, excuse me, I got a little bit of cold. I don't know what's going on. Something's running around. I got my sister in town. We got like a really awesome weekend weekend plan, so I'm trying to stay healthy. But so I posted in a group, um, you know, what's as of right now, as you're laying down, as you're waking up, okay, depending on when you read this, I wanted to know like what's the biggest pain that you're experiencing in your business right now. So I wanted you to kind of open up and let me know what's going on, whatever it is. And if you're catching the replay of this, cool. 
Uh, still, post it in the comments below. You know, if you like this, uh, if you want more of this, just like the comment and then comment below. Um, and this kind of helps me, you know, also, I don't want to get on a side tangent. This helps me help even more entrepreneurs and marketers because it shows the relevance to Facebook. Hey, people are commenting, liking in here. Um, maybe we should show this group to um, other people that could find it useful. So that's what it's all about, just helping everybody out. All right, so Victor had posted, um, <laughs> I hate my 7.30 to 4.30 job. So not the typical 9 to 5, right? But he's still, you know, somewhere 9 to 5, pretty much 9 hours a day. You know, if any of you guys know my story, you know, I was pretty much in the Navy, you know, working 9, 10, 12 hours a day, whatever they need me to do, deploy, did all kind of crazy stuff. So um, it was hard. You know, I, I uh, eventually realized, like, this is not what I want to do for the rest of my life. I don't want to live by someone else's watch or someone else's calendar. I want to live life on my own terms, spend time with family whenever I want. I wanted to travel whenever I wanted. You know, so then I got into Facebook ads for local business. Well, my history started with SEO. I got into SEO, ranking people's websites for them for local business and that went very well then there was a crash and here we are with facebook ads so that's what i was able to do um so yeah victor i totally feel your pain man um you want to quit your job there's no better business to get in honestly i don't think there's any better business to get in than to help other businesses get more paying customers that's the best business to get if you're in that business guys you i mean you're set because you can easily get at least a thousand bucks a month for your time it's lucrative you know you just get you know, three or four clients, you can easily replace your income like, like that, like nothing, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, Jamal says similar, I hate my job, uh, thinking about quitting soon and, um, starting my e-commerce journey. Yeah, man, you know, run after that crazy idea, no matter how crazy it is, you know, um, e-commerce, it's pretty simple, you know, throw up your Shopify store, uh, get an app called Shoelace, do some automatic retargeting, you know, and uh, you're going to be all set. I love e-commerce, you know, and just figure out your data, you know. So if you're selling uh, $20 t-shirts and $50 boots, you know, uh, figure out exactly how much it costs you to sell one of those. If it costs you 10 bucks to sell a $50 product, then boom, you have a 500% ROI, you know, so it's pretty simple. I say it's simple like it's so easy. It's not easy, you know, get the two things. It's two things, easy and simple. They're not the same. If I tell you that it's easy to do this, I'm, I'll be lying to you. If I tell you it's simple, it's a process that you need to learn and implement, and it's a very simple process once you figure it out. It's two different things, so don't think I'm saying that it's easy because it's not, but you, if you put in a little time and a little effort, I guarantee you 100% if you follow you know, a, a, a structured process, you will achieve what you're trying to achieve. So awesome, Victor. You know, I, I totally feel you, man. And Vic, actually, um, I do know Victor a little bit. We chatted back and forth um, in the group. He hit me up. <laughs> And uh, he's actually, he actually served in the Navy too, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, Mark Toller says, uh, Facebook targeting for the right audience for bars. Um, can only assume that's like where you go have a drink. Been in the biz for years, uh, spend tons of money on marketing with Facebook, but cannot figure it out. Mark, gotcha, man. So, I mean, I kind of mentioned that earlier. I think targeting... Um, you have to, you do need to be able to target a relevant audience, but I think your message is more important than all, all the targeting. Okay. It is important to target the right people, but, um, it's just part of it, you know? So if you're not say, putting the right message in front of the right people, it's not going to matter. Okay. So I think you for bars, you probably want to start with the industry, uh, the restaurant industry, you know, look at popular nightclubs, popular bars, target people that are interested in those, you know, maybe even stack it with uh, people that are own commercial property. That would probably be a good idea, you know, to find people that are, if you're trying to sell a service for bars or if you're trying to get people into bars, you know, find the pop most popular nightclubs. If they're interested in those nightclubs, they'll probably be interested in going to a local bar or something like that, right? You know, so you can target that way. Um, but yeah, that's the best advice I can give you on targeting. And if you're doing local business, I always say don't do automatic bidding, do manual, you know, round up to the next dollar. And then uh, you're going to have a lot more success with your targeting. Um, if you go any under below and uh, 10,000 people, you want to do manual bidding uh, because you just want to show Facebook, hey, I'm serious about spending money, show my ad to this audience. And Facebook will push it out. If you do automatic, you kind of leave it up to them to show your ad whenever you want. And you don't want that. You want uh, you want to be proactive with pushing your ad out there. All right. <clears throat> so James James Moore says uh, the job. <laughs> he 
He works 7 to 17.30. Wow, that's a long day. That's uh, 11 and a half hours. Uh, eats into so much of my time. Man, I get it. I get it. The job thing, you know, I know it's hard. I, I tell you guys, you know, I tell my story a lot, but, um, you know, I built in nine, in nine months period, I was able to build a uh, Facebook ads agency, marketing agency to uh, six figures. You know, obviously we've tapped over the seven figure mark now, but when I first started, uh, I had to hustle, you know, so I worked um, seven uh, to like 4.35 o'clock every day, similar to your hours. And, um, you know, I would go to the gym. At the time, I was going to the gym and I would get home about 7.30, 8 o'clock at night. And then I would have to come in front of my laptop at the time on the couch or on the dinner table, right? And, uh, you know, hustle away, you know, and do whatever I had to do uh, to hustle and uh, make closed deals, send emails and do whatever, you know. So I would do that from like 8.30 at night, 8 o'clock at night to like midnight. So at least four hours a night. And I'll, I'll go to bed around midnight and wake up the next morning around six and do it all over again. So that was my um, that, that was my hustle time in the beginning. Obviously, I don't work like that anymore. You know, I've established business now. I have digital assistants. You know, I got we're actually we're running uh, three businesses now. Um, so that's what obviously what you want to work up to. But man, in the beginning, I know it's very hard, especially if you do have a job right now. I know it's a big leap. You don't know what you're doing. That's why, like, man, honestly, it's so important to get a coach. When I first started out, I found a coach, you know, that kind of helped me with SEO and how to rank Google sites and stuff like that. So I had the information. I had the place to get all the answer, the questions answered um, so I wasn't alone trying to figure it out. Um, I think that's a, a thing that most entrepreneurs do is they – think, you know, okay, if I save a few hundred bucks, you know, I'm just trying to figure this out instead of like actually going talking to an expert, um, I'll be, I'll be good. You know, no, you actually lose spending, you know, you lose so much time that you can't get back. And then you, um, your business stays stagnant and the, your bank stays stagnant, uh, because you wanted to save a few hundred bucks on actually, you know, going to hire an expert or something or getting into some type of program that can teach you everything, you know? So I think that's, something that a lot of people lack they think they can just try to figure it out themselves but i highly recommend you don't do that you know there's people that are already doing it people that it's already killing it you know i'm not saying you have to hire me i'm just saying you have to find somebody that you know and trust um that can help you out you know and, and once you do um you can reap the rewards you can you can excel your career a lot faster in digital marketing or entrepreneurship or whatever you're trying to do you know so always get a coach always like i still i spend um about Last year, I think I spent about 50 grand just on coaching, you know, travel, went to different events, you know, joined a couple groups, you know, of high level entrepreneurs and got to network and do all kind of cool stuff and learn a lot of stuff that I didn't know before. And it's taken my business, um, you know, to another level. Um, like I told you guys, I posted, uh, I posted just earlier about Nick that owns that health and, uh, health and wellness uh, coaching program for high level entrepreneurs. He's got a $7,000 program. Um, I helped him with his ads, and he's getting people on an actual phone call for about two dollars and fifty cents for his seven thousand dollar program. You know, and his uh, close rate with his team is like roughly forty percent. I don't know exactly how much he's making. I know he's making a lot, but uh, somebody, I think James or somebody, commented early about that. Man, you must be making a lot with that. So when you when you work with entrepreneurs on that level, the relationship and the network access is actually worth more. You know, I could be getting 50, 30, 40 percent of that 7K. But to me, the uh, relationship that I have with him and the network access is worth a lot more money. All right. So that's why it's important to, you know, be with the right people, surround yourself with the right people where you can ask those questions and get that get that support that you need for your business or your career. So you don't feel like you're in the dark when you're trying to do this stuff. I know how painful that may seem at times. So I highly recommend guys. Find find somebody that can um, that can better you, you know, and surround yourself with the right people. Um, so here we go. Erwin says, I hate my job. This is very common. You guys all have jobs. All right. I get it. I get it. You know, um, so if you if you are one of those people, you're definitely in the right place. OK, this this is an entrepreneurial uh, environment, you know, a, a, a people that, you know, don't, that are tired of the nine to five that are tiring to, to waking up to a ro robot routine, you know, so if you are one of those people, you're definitely in the right spot. So uh, just keep your chin up. You know, uh, I'm sure you guys know that I offer I do offer a coaching program with Facebook ads and stuff that can help you, but not here to pitch at all. I'm just trying to um, answer you guys questions. Okay, so keep your chin up. I know. I know it's rough. 
um, but there are options out there, okay? Uh, let's see. Legion. So Jason's talking about Legion. That is a very, very broad thing because that's typically what I do in my business every day and uh, what I teach people how to do every day. So, I mean, Legion, yeah. I mean, lead generation for local business is what we uh, pretty much specialize in, you know. So, I mean, you have to put, like I said, you have to put the right message in front of the right people. You have to have a funnel. If you're not collecting phone numbers, name, email, phone, you know, your funnel is trash, you know. So, you, if you're trying to do lead gen for local brick and mortars, dentists, chiropractors, uh, you know, bars, nightclubs, restaurants, whatever, you better be collecting name, email, phone, and you better be able to hand deliver that lead, you know, to your client. So, um, Beverly says, you're an amazing coach. That's awesome. Thank you, Beverly. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, man, my nose is sniffly. <laughs> um, so, okay. Just refresh my screen so I can get some more questions you guys have here. All right. Um, creating ad So, I can talk about lead gen all day. Uh, literally, I could sit here and talk about that all day. Um, you know, uh, shoot, I don't want to, I don't want to pitch, pitch my program to you guys, but, um, you, you know, if you are seriously stuck, you can go check, check it out. Or maybe I'll post a link or something for you guys to check out, but, um, let me keep getting through these questions, creating ad copy that targets people with personal. Oh, oh by the way, Jason, if you come back, just comment like what you're trying to sell, and who your ideal customer is. And we could try to figure out your targeting and figure out your message, okay? And maybe I'll help you out with your landing page too. Just comment the stuff or you can PM me. Um, but I'd like you to post it in a group so everybody else can learn too. Cool. Hopefully you heard that if you're watching, you catch a replay or something. Um, Alvin Foreman says, creating ad copy that targets people with personal and financial problems without getting ads rejected. I know Facebook has an ads policy, you know, and if you guys are trying to do Facebook ads for your business, someone else's business, or you're trying to get into it as an entrepreneur, guys, you have to know the policy. 100% uh, know the policy. It's very easy. Just go to Facebook ads policy. And I know that we hate, like, if you've ever ran a Facebook ad and it got disapproved, I know that you hate going to this policy and trying to figure out what the dealio is. But trust me, if you just take, you know, a quarter of your day or an hour, say, okay, from 11 to 12 today, I'm reading Facebook's ads policy. Give you give yourself that one hour. Guys, you're going to learn so much, okay? We had our, one of our business managers got shut down because we got disapproved too many times and we were trying to do, you know, say some stuff on there, right? We weren't trying to sell guns or drugs or anything, but you want to be careful. You know, now we have, you know, girls, I have, like I said this before, I have two girls that uh, work for Facebook, right? Um, so we don't really have this issue anymore. But um, we learned, you know, to actually take, don't take this with a grain of salt. Take an hour, read the policy so you understand where Facebook is at. Uh, you know, they care about the user. They don't, they don't give a darn about anybody spending money. The only way you can actually go on a VIP list or actually have, um, you know, uh, direct access to private help is if you make a mil uh, a month, right? That's it. The only reason why we have it is because we kind of got the connections. Like I said, we hired the, the girls that used to work in the office. But um, that's the only way you can, you can get it legitimately, right? So know the policy or you'll get shut down. Like you get, you haven't, you have what's called an action score. No one knows their score. Only Facebook knows their action score. And the action score is affected by where you log in. Like, so if you got three IP addresses where you're logging at, in that, that looks fishy. So if you're trying to do Facebook ads from your home at your job or at home or from your iPhone or iPad, whatever, that looks fishy. All right. So um, just be careful. There's, there's so many things. So try to stay credit cards, you know, how many credit cards you're using, you know, how many business managers you have with the same profile. There's all kinds of different stuff. Okay. So make sure check out the ad policy. Um, how did I get into ad policy? Oh, we were talking about being rejected. So, so personal and financial problems. So you're probably going to want to target pe people that have like personal financial problems. I mean, I mean, shoot, there's millionaires with personal financial problems, right? So I would probably go after, you're probably going to have better luck going after people with low income because the majority 
of low income people probably have some type of credit card debt or college debt or trying to make payments on some type of purchase or try to make payments on something they couldn't afford. So targeting income um, is probably good, like under 40K is probably a good one. So you, I don't know if you're trying to get leads for a uh, financial institute, maybe you're, they're trying to get them to refinance with them or something like that. But I think that's a good starting point. And as far as your ad copy, you just want to be careful uh, with mentioning, um, you know, that they're in debt or something like that. You just want to kind of speak about the product. I know it's hard you want to call them out and say, hey, you're 50K in debt with 10 credit cards, we can refinance here. You can't do that because Facebook will shut you down. All right, so um, just be careful with your wording and uh, you should be able to figure it out, all right? Uh, if you need any help, just hit me up. Uh, Jessica Taylor says, newbie, figuring out good ad copy. I have been doing AdWords and the ad copy is very different or at least that is what I'm seeing. Facebook is more storytelling. Yes, Jessica, that is a good way of saying it. Uh, the thing about Facebook it's passive, right? So people don't know they need you until you remind them. Okay? That's pretty much how it goes. So you have to put a message out there. So like if we were doing like carpet cleaning, people hit me up. If you're doing like carpet cleaning, you know, you want to, I like what we do in our agency that works very well. You know, we target moms that are parents and we talk to moms and we say, hey, do you love your kids but hate when they dirty your carpets, okay? You, you guys probably have seen me give this example before. It's like the easiest example to give. That's why I give it so much. But what are we doing? We're targeting just females, like the age 30 to 65 or 30 to 45, something like that. I'm sorry, 30. No, I think the actual what you should do if you're taking notes, um, 30 to about 55, right? Target that they have parents, uh, that they are parents, okay? That means they have kids, um, and then just put that message out there. Do you love your kids but hate when they're uh, when they when they dirty your carpets? Boom! And they put a picture of a kid like with muddy shoes on some carpet. All right, very very relevant messaging. Okay, um, and they don't know they're like they're just scrolling Facebook, right? Most of these people are just on their phone, right? We all know this. They're on their phone scrolling Facebook, you know, doing whatever, right? Looking at pe people's kids and stuff or whatever, <laughs> looking at kit cats and dogs. And they see that ad and it's like, crap, you know, I have kids, you know, they keep running through here. I need to get cleanings once a month. Oh, you're offering 50% off for carpet cleaning. Cool. Let me give that a shot. Let me drop my name, email, phone number to get this voucher in my email box. All right. So that's how you need to structure it. Um, you know, the difference, like you said, in Google Google is cool if you're doing AdWords, right? You can just target the keywords. You know, people know they need it. They go search it. Um, you know, I love AdWords. I Actually, I prefer, you know, if you are going to do any kind of marketing, go on the Google side, do AdWords versus SEO. SEO, there's so many different updates. There's crashes all the time. You know, like I told you, I don't want to get into the story again, but when I was doing it, you know, we had to take like a 70% profit cut for our whole business to run AdWords to keep all of our clients happy. <laughs> You know, so it really, really sucked, <laughs> you know, so, um, but we eventually bounced back, you know, we still do SEO and, and stuff like that. We bounced back uh, and we are very profitable now. But um, yes, AdWords is cool because you can put in the, I'm actually working on a um, AdWords course. I'm pretty excited about it, you know, because like last year, I don't know if you guys watched my webinar, but I talked to you guys about how <laughs> we generated, um, you know, over 50,000 leads for our clients with, with the AdWords, you know? So, um, and I actually, I think I give that exact template at the end of the webinar for you guys or, or something, but it, you can go, if you guys are interested, you can go check out the webinar. It's like in the, um, the top of the page. Uh, I give you a special link to go sign up, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I love AdWords. So I'm excited to put together that course. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be coming out, but, uh, I'll make sure to let you guys know if you're interested and if you're trying to figure out how to do AdWords more effectively. But yeah, that's the difference between AdWords and Facebook ads. Facebook ads passive. They don't know they need you until you remind them. That's why your messaging and everything is so important. So you have to kind of story tell it, like you said. It's very important. Then you, you know, do the targeting necessary to show it to the right people and set up your funnel and your landing pages to make sure you get the right information. All right, cool. So uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much for commenting. Again, if you're, if you're catching the replay, please go comment and I'll hit you back. You know, 
Uh, let me refresh my screen over here, see if there's anybody commenting something on the video. Any questions over here that I can answer? Uh, so, Joe, Hosea Ryan. Oh, man, I probably butchered that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, dude, what tips do you have for prospecting for Facebook ad clients? Cool, man. So, I have to, Jose, uh, Josea, I, I'm butchering your name, man, but you, all right, so you're one of those people that needs to go watch my webinar because I teach you exactly how to get, like, if you go watch the webinar, I'll show you exactly what I did to make 14K my first month doing this, doing this stuff, okay? So, I give you my exact prospecting strategy on Facebook ad groups. I show you how to go to groups. Um, and I give you the exact message to inbox them, you know, people that are like screaming for help. So go check out the webinar. Uh, it's called my three secret steps to getting local businesses to pay me to run their Facebook ads. Right. And then I show you all my strategy on how I was able to actually make $14,010 my first month doing it. Okay. It was for like, a, I use Stripe, Stripe is my merchant service, right? So I actually screenshotted the 14,010 dollars and, and put it in there, you know, just so you guys are like, okay, this actually happened. All right. So go check that out. It's really cool. You know, so if you're having issues trying to get Facebook ad clients, um, I know for my course, I do offer um, there, there's like a funnel in there that you can use to run Facebook ads to, to pretty much put your free trial prospecting on autopilot. So you never have to cold call or cold email again. So that's in there. Um, and then once you get one success, I give you an automated funnel that you can use to actually bring people to warm call and close them on a $1,500 or $2,000 deal. You know, so um, essentially what the training I give you in the course, if you guys sign up later or whatever, um, you don't have to cold call, cold email, anything. You can just use those two funnels and you'll be good to go. You just bring people to warm calendar and uh, close them up. Cool. Hope that answered your question, but go check out the webinar. Uh, Beverly, you're an awesome coach. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I already read that. Uh, let's see. Um, Oluma did. Oh man, I'm butchering. I'm horrible with the names today. I'm sorry, guys. He says, any resources on creating a high converting click funnels landing page, <laughs> like tutorials or PDFs? Uh, I understand targeting now, but struggling uh, setting up funnel landing page. And I know, I know it's crazy, but I thought I'd ask. <laughs> hey, man. Cool to ask. That's why I went live and, and did this for you. Um, so what's cool is, again, like, I don't want to keep, like, pushing you to the webinar. That's why, like, I'm trying to give you guys as much value as possible. So if you watch these webinars, I know they're, like, an hour long, but, dude, I cover so much information. Just went live, actually, on Tuesday. So if you're trying to figure out how to put together ClickFunnels landing pages, dude, um, I went live, I think it was Monday or Tuesday, and I built a, we just got a new client for the agency and I built a, which is, oh man, I got to show you guys the results for that. But I went live and built the Botox uh, funnel, like live on, on Facebook live. No, you had to go to a webinar, but um, I would check that out. You know, I think the replays in here, look, I'll post the replay for you uh, so you can watch that. Um <laughs> And I'll post the uh, link, you know, to the webinar for Jose or whoever, you know, if you guys want to go check it out. <laughs> but you can go check out these two trainings. <laughs> I'm sorry, I got a sniffly nose today. All right. But look, I just posted that link for the training I did like on Monday or Tuesday, but I built a uh, Botox campaign live for you guys. So you can go like just watch me as I do that. It's pretty cool. Um, and then I did mention my course a couple times. There is a link at the end of that. Uh, you can get in at a special rate if that's still live. I don't know if that's still live. I didn't check, but um, just just go watch it. Get the free training if you want to sign up for the course. It's at the end. Uh, that way you don't have to like shoot from the hip no more. <laughs> but you know, I give you guys as much as much free stuff as I can. But if you like want a solid foundation and have a place to come to, you know, I have the other private student group and we're doing tech support in there all the time. Then you have like the online academy where you can go through and learn everything you need to know. All right, so. Uh, go check that out. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, let's see. Beverly says they are strict for a reason. It sucks at times, but there's a reason. Yep. Yeah. She's talking about the uh, getting stuff approved. Um, hate my job. Yes. Jamal, I know. 
I kind of read these already. Um, I'm just learning, so no questions, but they're soon to be, I'm sure. LOL. All right. Uh, post the link to the webinar. It's cool. All right, Jamal. Yeah, so you have that one. Go check that one out. And then uh, here, I'll pull up the link to the other webinar for you. Uh, bear with me. Here it is. I think this is it. Yep, this is it. I'll post this one for you as well so you have it. All right, so that's that's two webinars I just posted, you guys. They're all they're both of them like an hour long, so just make sure like you know, you got you got time to watch it, right? Uh so like, you know, turn the phone off, you know, put the kids to bed, do what you got to do, get your notepad and pen, all right? Um and take notes. <laughs> Uh, see what other kind of uh, questions. I really appreciate you. Uh, we'll be purchasing some of your stuff soon. So much value. I can't resist to give back, sir. Hey, man, thank you so much. I, I really appreciate that. It's all about giving. You know, um, I think that whenever I, like what I tell my students all the time, like and it's the same thing when you create Facebook ads, like you have to give to get, you know, so if you're putting any kind of special offer out there, if you're building a campaign for a client, you have to let them, and I teach you how to make your client understand, dude, you have to give a little bit to get because six months down the road, you know, you lost maybe a $10 here, but you made 10000 here, right? So um, it, that's very important, and that's something that I do train you guys on how to do. All right, cool. Let's see. Yep, you're welcome, Jamal. I appreciate you, man. Um, awesome. So I think I went through all the questions. If you guys have anything else, post it. But let me go through this targeting stacking um, training that I want to do for you guys. I actually did this for uh, for um, my students, I think, earlier or last week. or Yeah, I think it was last week. But uh, I, think, I think it'll be cool to share with you guys as well. Um, but when you're doing targeting, right, like – you want to to get a very narrow audience, you want to do something called the stack, okay? Now, I can't say that I own the stack. I didn't make up the stack, right? I think I think people call it other stuff. I might have just started calling it the stack, but it's called narrowing your audience. So maybe I own the stack. I don't know. I didn't copyright or anything, but I'm, sure, I'm going to show you guys how to stack your targeting, okay? I'm not trying to get credit for the, the stack, but this, that's what I call it, okay? So you know you got to come in here, right? So if you're running ads, you know, to a specific location, city, or, you know, address or whatever, I'm not going to go into details on all this. I just want to show you guys the stack method. It's very important you guys understand this. All right, so I'm just going to do San Diego at 25 because that's where I'm at. You know, let's target some people that have some money, at least 2665. Usually people have their stuff together there, right? All right, so excuse me itchy so detail targeting so let's let's uh do let's see what are we going to go after what's some niches you guys want me to go after comment in the comments throw some niches let me get some tissue from my nose real quick sniffly today sorry about that guys all right cool uh what did we got what do we got what'd you guys comment uh italian restaurants okay <laughs> seller listings cool okay i can do some real estate i like real estate um any local family-owned restaurants uh new construction okay okay um you know what let's do so italian restaurants right 
let's do let's think let's think about restaurants. So we want to get people into an Italian restaurant. All right. So I don't think that targeting um you know, people that speak Italian would be necessary. Most people I like I love Italian and I'm not Italian. I'm my mom's from Guatemala and <laughs> my dad's like Irish. Oh, he's Irish and Italian. He's small Italian, right? But like I'm no like you know, Mamma Mia, you know, like, <laughs> I hope that didn't offend anybody. But, like, I'm not, like, you know, real hardcore Italian. So there's no need to um, to to target just people that uh, live and breathe Italian, right? So Because everybody loves Italian food. I think we're going to go eat Italian food tonight with my sister. So um, I'll do Italian, and then we'll, Cindy, we'll do the real estate for you. All right, cool. Um, so let's do... I think we should target all men and women, and then I would actually leave the the age group open, okay? Um, and I would probably come in here, and I would probably just type in Italian food interest. So Italian cuisine. So if I came in here and typed in Italian, what do I see? I see Italian cuisine. There's like 80 million people in the country that like Italian cuisine. Um, there's, you know, almost 7 million people. Oh, wait, this is just, okay, in the country. Yeah, so this is 6.7 that, like, Italians. So Italian-American. So I would probably come in here and type in Italian cuisine, okay, food and drinks cuisine. So in San Diego, if you're doing detail targeting, all right, so let's just kick this down to a 10-mile radius in San Diego. Look at that. So I have already 23, 2,300 people that um that like italian food pretty much right that's a lot of people on a 10 mile radius that's most people like i'm telling you guys i think the uh i wouldn't get too caught up on the targeting and go crazy i think that if you just typed in italian if you're trying to do legion for an italian restaurant um i think just go 10 miles outside the uh outside the address for the restaurant you know keep the targeting open 18 to 65 you know that p kids kids go out to eat nowadays you know they got prom uh you know and everybody likes i'm 29 I, lo I love italian food so everybody likes italian food so i wouldn't get crazy on like trying to narrow the audience too much on this um let's see if you wanted to i don't know if this is a great example to kind of stack what could we stack with this if we wanted to narrow it down if okay so let's do this it let's say um this is a really high-end Italian restaurant, right? Five stars, like $100 a person. Okay, real high-end. Cool. Let's let's cap, let's cap. Uh, pretend. So I can do Italian cuisine, and then I'm probably going to want to... We can probably leave the age or maybe go up to 26, okay? A little bit older, probably have a little bit more money. As you can see, we went down to 160000 right? So let's narrow the already the in, Italian cuisine interest. Let's narrow that or stack... Let's do income. Let's say they got to make a certain amount of money. All right. So if someone's going to go eat at a five star restaurant, it's a hundred dollars a person. They're probably going to want to be making some Benjis, right? And so I would say probably targeted people that makes one hundred and fifty k and up. That's what I would do. And then boom. So there you go. So now. If I'm trying to market an Italian restaurant, five star restaurant where it's a hundred dollars a plate. You know, I came in here, I did, okay, find everybody in this 10-mile radius that likes Italian food, boom, did that. Now, if it's five stars, like only, you know, people that have high income will probably go eat there on, on the um, more frequent basis, right? So let's say they make at least 150 k So now we got 30,000 people. Guys, that's a pretty good audience if you're trying to do an Italian restaurant high-end, right? So that's stacking. That's how you stack the uh, targeting, boom. So I did promise, uh, Cindy, we'll do your real estate. All right. So real estate, you want to find, what do people look at when they go to do real estate? They probably visit, what kind of websites they're visiting? They're probably visiting like Trulia, Zillow, right? And I know this because we were like really heavy in real estate. Um, you know, they're probably visiting realtor.com, right? They're pro and then Facebook gives you some pretty cool stuff. Like if you're trying to do seller, there's something called likely to move. All right, likely to move. Boom, that's a behavior. So if you target likely to move, um, you probably know this, then in this 10-mile radius, there's 37,000 people at 26 to 65 that are probably looking to move. 
But I like to also add in there, um, you know, Zillow. They're interested in Zillow. They're interested in Realtor.com. They're interested in, uh, interested in Trulia. And if anybody doesn't know, these are like three huge websites or three huge companies. They pretty much do, uh, they help local people, you know, find homes. And then they actually sell leads to real estate agents like at a high dollar amount and the leads are garbage. So, Cindy, that's probably why you're here because you're tired of that. I don't know if you use their service, right? But we've converted so many real estate agents and brokers from, uh, from Zillow to Facebook ads just because of the low cost lead acquisition we're able to get. All right. So that's what I would target for them. Um, I would target, you know, if you're trying to do seller, you know, here's truly a real estate, um, buying a house. All these words are common. Homes.com, I'm, I'm sorry, are relevant. You know, so you want to go through here. They're interested in real estate. Um, I like to look at if they're do, uh, family, okay, or school. If they're interested in school, these are home families. Okay. And that's going to open up your, your targeting a little bit more. Okay. So now you have more people in the pot and look at my, uh, look at my targeting, how specific it is. Okay. So that really helped out. So that's what I would throw in there. Um, what you can do is actually take all this stuff. I would take off since likely to move is like the prime keyword that you're looking for meaning they're looking for, they need a seller. I would take that one out and maybe let's see if we narrow that with all this, all these websites and stuff. Let's do likely to move. Let's stack that. All right. So likely to move. Boom. So look at this. 24,000 people uh, in San Diego at this 10 mile radius. They all visited you know, these websites that have to do with real estate, they're interested in real estate, right? Like they have some form of interest in real estate right now. And then we stacked it with likely to move. So this is telling me that these 24,000 people are probably very likely to move because not, not only they're hitting all these websites up and they're in the market for real estate, but they are actually listing themselves and posting comments and things as such where like, I need to sell my home or um, you know, I'm going to be moving soon or something like that. Right. So boom, there's your targeting, Sydney. That's how I would stack targeting for that. Um, cool. Awesome guys. So how do you do clicks to site or what types of, what type of ad? Um, you know, in the course I train, uh, send traffic, right? Send traffic. If you send traffic to the website or to the landing page, um, if you targeted the right people and said the right message to them, if you're just sending traffic and telling Facebook, Hey, send people that are, show my ad to people that are most likely to click on it. Um, they should convert pretty nicely, right? Cause you had the right targeting in place and you had the right messaging in place. So if you just send traffic, you should have a, a good conversion, right? But, um, what we've been doing a lot more lately is conversions where we're, you know, telling Facebook, Hey, um, you push my ad out to as many people as you can. And we're just going to let the the targeting and the um, messaging make people click and convert does that make sense that's the difference so facebook goes out there and just finds the most likely people that want to convert and shows it to the right people based off our targeting based off our messages because it's a full algorithm um and that's, that's what we do so we've do, been doing a lot more conversion ads lately um but i teach both in the course so you you know it's a sham bam wham bam thank you ma'am kind of thing <laughs> so you're not in the dark um, cool. So, uh, what do I recommend for bidding? I mean, bidding just kind of depends on the budget. You know, I say, you know, $3, uh, three days or $30 is what you can determine if a campaign is going to be successful or not. You know, so it's, it's really up to you, you know, what you're willing to, uh, to put out there and, uh, invest in your ads. You're good, man. You ask a lot of questions. That means you need some support. Just saying, just saying, go check out the webinar. <laughs> You'll probably learn some awesome stuff on there. Um, Brian says, have you found a way to stack for a chiropractor in larger areas? They seem harder to target than smaller areas. So for chiros, um, it's best to start off with a broad. So the best thing I like to teach with chiros is start with broad, start with women, okay? Uh, do conversion ads, send a hundred people to your landing page, send a hundred people to your thank you page, and then make lookalike audiences off those. 
All right, so spend, you're gonna wanna probably spend, uh, I would say if, if you really, really wanted to get like a solid audience for Cairo, just spend a few hundred bucks and just send a crap load of traffic to your pages, right? And then just let that pixel fill up and then just make look like audiences based off the people that visited those pages. Um, it's harder to catch Cairo. Cairo, like it's simple, it's a simple process, but it's, it's a little bit harder than, um, than what most people think. All right, you can target like stuff like, uh, you know, back pain and sciatic nerve pain, right? And all that stuff's relevant. Um, but what's selling in the market very well right now is like a low cost adjustment. That's selling the best in the market right now. Um, typically it's roughly, you know, f below 50% of what the market price is for like an exam console adjustment and that performs the best. But that's my recommendation, you know, for the uh, for the targeting for that. Um, cool, you blocked off three hours today for webinars. Boom, go ahead, man. You got two webinars to watch. One gives you a full funnel for Botox, and the other one gives you pretty much everything that I did to make 14K my first month doing all this cool stuff, right? So go check it out. Uh, yeah, Brian, no problem, man. Thanks for jumping on. And if you guys don't know what he's talking about, uh, I posted two links to a couple webinars that I have. One of them, I'm just going over how I get local businesses to pay me to run their Facebook ads and how I made 14K my first month doing it. Um, but all those strategies, you can swipe. And then um, earlier this week, I went live and did a webinar on a uh, Botox. We got a new Botox client for our agency. So I actually built that campaign live and just recorded it, you know. And then at the end of the thing, I'm like, okay, you hung out with me for an hour. I'll give you a special price into my course, boom. So go check it out. I'm not sure, I didn't look before I went live just now if the link still works for the special offer because I only run those like, you know, I mean, it's a like the course, if you have any questions about it, I mean, it's like the value of the course, it's like over 20 grand, right? And everything in there I've sold to entrepreneurs and marketers over time, we've built it up. So it's everything that I've done in my business to build up to over seven figures now. Um, so I'll offer that to you guys at obviously at a lower rate you know, because it's, it's much more affordable for you. But if you want it, it I think you got to go watch the uh, free live training link to try to get the special offer one. Um, but you can check out the other one. Cool. It's, it's up to you. But both webinars are great. You know, like I said, but um, you got to sit there and watch it. Like I don't let you fast forward through it, you know, so make sure you have an hour for each and make sure you take notes because if you miss something, you can't like reverse it. That's how I do my training because people like you send them stuff, right? And they like scroll through the video and like don't watch. They miss something, you know, and they're like, oh, Doug, I missed this step. What the heck? Why did I mess this up? Well, probably because you scroll through the video and miss something, right? So all my videos that I will post, you guys won't be able to like fast forward them. Just that's not the, I hope that doesn't irritate you, but that's just the way it is because you have to be able to sit. So just make sure you, you know, block off your time and get the training. Get look, get a notepad, get a pen. All right, you'll be good. All right, get some coffee, get some tea. All right, put the kids to sleep, turn the phone off, turn Facebook off, you'll be good. All right, cool. So this has been a very good call. I appreciate the uh, engagement and stuff. Um, let's see, did we have any more questions? Let me f refresh this page, see if I got any over here. Uh, by the way, so if you guys are new or anything, you know, or if you've been here for a while, I did post links these are affiliate links, all right? I'm just being honest. These uh, programs I've used in my business, there's uh, Marketing Your Car, a bunch of stuff, Dot .com Secrets, Perfect Webinar Script. I've used all, used all this stuff in my business, so if you guys wanna check it out, you can go sign up here. I think some of it's even free, right? But the, the webinars, uh, my three simple secrets, both the links are right here. Um, and if you haven't watched this welcome video, go check it out. It just kinda tells you, hey, don't spam my group. You know, there had I had one guy last week that tried to sell like web design service. I'm like, dude, you like missed the video at the top. I'm sorry, I gotta boot you. I don't, I don't play that. You know, this this is all about Facebook ads. This is all about helping each other. So I'm not here to let you guys get spammed by people, right? That's not what this group is for. Cool beans. Um, and make sure to welcome these people. Like if you're new or if you've been here for a while, you know, Pixella is, does great about posting these awesome welcome messages. Say what's up. Welcome to the group. Did anybody um, comment? 
All right, cool. I think I hit all of you guys' questions. Cindy, thank you so much for being here. Brian says I appreciate it. Awesome, Brian. Awesome, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up, but let's see. I'll post this last link for you guys to go check out. Um, but if you haven't seen my three simple secrets yet, all right, this is what the page looks like. Okay, next webinar is going to be soon. Okay, so go check it out. Go sign up. Um, but I give you guys a lot of information in these trainings. Okay, so if you are in this group and you're trying to figure out Facebook ads, whether that be you have a business, you have a service, no one's buying, or you're a marketer, no one's no one's hiring you, or you have a job and you can't stand it. You know, this trust me, I was in the job thing too, right? So um, I was able to do this from knowing nothing, right? So uh, go, you can hear my story a little bit, but go go swipe those strategies that I give you guys, um, and then uh, you guys will be good, okay? Awesome guys. So any any last questions? Let me check the. Uh, Check the thing here. Cool. All right, guys. Awesome. Well, hey, this was Douglas James. Uh, I'll see you guys in the group. Have a great weekend. I may post a picture. My sister's in town. We're going to go get some food tonight, maybe go out. And then uh, we're going up to L.A. this weekend to go to Universal Studios, walk around Hollywood a little bit. So I'm pretty excited about that. But uh, make sure you take time, you know, so we can take time with your family. But, hey, you guys keep hustling, keep doing what you're doing, um, and always try to achieve something greater, right? I'll see you guys next week. I'll see you guys in the group. Take it easy.